Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am in Mykonos, Greece and after a poll on Instagram, I have decided to go ahead and film a mukbang Q&A which I'm really, really excited about doing because I've seen them on YouTube and I've really wanted to do my own. So I've actually ordered from a, an Italian restaurant but it's got a Greek twist on it. And I can't wait to show you guys what I've got. So the restaurant's actually called Abati. And boy, does the food look good. Okay, I'm opening it up. So I got some chicken wings and oh my goodness, look at that. They look succulent. I hope they actually seasoned well, but you know, we'll get into that. Just gonna lay them onto the platter for you guys to see them. Don't worry guys, I'll wash my hands. Anyways, me that's eating it, so it doesn't really matter. I love a bit of, you know, parsley or whatever this is. It makes like it. <laughs> Looks like it's making the chicken look all juicy and succulent. I'm just going to pour this ooh, all over. Yeah. Just like that. And I don't know what sauce this is, but I'll soon find out. I'm just going to pop it here because I don't want to actually stay in the table. Guys, we have got a guest. I've, there's so many cats in Greece, but this cat is eyeing up my food. Hopefully I can have a successful mukbang, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> so, this, I'm not going to actually eat this first because this is a, I don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> but this is a calzone dessert and it's got bananas and Nutella inside of it. <laughs> so this is a Greek eggplant salad. From the name on the menu, you would actually think that it's a salad, but in fact, it's just a dip, basically. Sorry. And, oh my goodness, guys, I've got a pizza with egg and bacon on it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this looks like an English breakfast. Like, this is an English breakfast and a pizza, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm excited to eat this. And yeah, I'm gonna get straight into the Q&A. I'm just gonna answer a few questions that I got in my DMs. The first one. So the first question was actually, where am I from? So. I'm going to take that question in two ways. Where am I from? Maybe originality and also where I live. So my originality is Malian, French and Nigerian. And where I actually live right now is near Brighton. So that's in Worthing. So if you guys are familiar with East Sussex, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is really good. Hmm. I can't wait to get to the egg grip. Cause that, I really want to know what that tastes like. So the second question I got was which foundation I use? I've been using Lancome, I'll actually tag this in the description box, so I used Lancome and I also use, I was using NARS but then I switched over to Bare Minerals because I feel like that's better for the summer period because the way it absorbs in your face is not in a way that's like too cloggy or you know, it lasts throughout the whole day so. So yeah, that's the foundations I use. If you guys have ever got any recommendations for any foundations, then I would definitely, definitely love to know. Because I'm so open to trying new things. I've always wanted to get the Fenty Beauty foundation. Only because it looks so, so good. Like some of the people that I've seen wear it. So yeah. Message me your recommendations in the comments. I'd definitely love to know. Oh my gosh, this chicken is good. It is so good. Can you see how juicy it is? Just look at that. 
It is so good. It's not dry. It's seasoned well. Obati, you did good. You did good. Mm. Right. Moving on to question number three. What is my dream career? Hmm. You know, it's a bit of a tricky question. But really, I think I would love to be my own boss. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna come back to this. I'm not one of those people that leaves, you know, their chicken uneaten properly. I just like to mix it much. But in terms of my dream career, I would really just love to be my own boss. Mm. Yeah, I think being my own boss would be a dream in itself. Not having to respond to anyone. Being able to set my own working hours and being able to, you know, travel when I want. Who wouldn't want that? But in terms of careers, I would really just want a job that will allow me to travel a lot and also focus on my blogging and content creation. That to me is just everything I love and more. But when I was a little girl, I definitely, definitely wanted to like be a singer. I used to watch Hannah Montana and I just literally was like, that is what I have to be. I'm gonna try this with the dip because I haven't done it yet. Yeah. So I'm kind of open to my dream job. As long as it makes me happy and I wake up wanting to do it, that's really what I'd love to do. So question number four, which is ironic because it's about food, is actually what my favourite food is. I'm not going to lie, my favourite food would definitely have to be the cat's back <laughs> and it's eyeing me up. Oh no kitty, the same for you. My favourite food, okay the cat is coming. My favorite, should I give it some? My favorite food would have to be anything that's oriental. Like I love Thai food. I love Chinese food. Oh my gosh. I love Vietnamese food. I just love oriental food, especially sushi. But I hate seafood. I know you guys are gonna be like, what? Who even likes sushi if you don't like seafood? But sushi, without the seaweed mm, is bomb and without fish is bomb so sushi that has avocado omelette i just love it but yeah that's what my favorite food is okay number five what is my favorite childhood shows? Hmm. Boy, I used to love watching TV when I was younger. I would definitely have to say, obviously I mentioned Hannah Montana. Kim Possible. Lizzie McGuire. Drake and Josh, That's So Raven, and iCarly. Um, oh, Zoe 101 as well. Loved those shows. I would literally, soon after school, I would run home and watch those shows. Yeah. Oh, and Totally Spies. Just slip that one right in there. Yeah. Okay. Number six. What is my favorite fashion brand? I am very, very open to fashion brands. Lately, I have been loving. <laughs> I've been loving online retailers like Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo. I'm misguided. But I would have to say, 
my heart lies with Topshop. I have literally been a Topshop girl since sixth form. It's something I just love. I, when I go in there, I literally find something I love instantly. Yeah, without doubt, Topshop. Okay, so yeah, Topshop is my go-to brand. I haven't shopped there as much, but definitely that one. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just get straight into this egg, because you know, it's been chilling here for a while, and I really wanna know how this tastes. Yeah, look at that. This is the moment. It's a little bit messy, but it is good. This is English breakfast. I tell ya, you know that when you wanna have pizza but English breakfast, but you don't know what, I would definitely go for this type of pizza. You can probably even make this at home. Fry an egg and just put it on your pizza. Fry a bacon, chuck it on your pizza. This is so good, guys. Okay, so next question would be, what is my favorite holiday so far? Ooh, now that is a tricky one. Because I've had a few good ones, but I'm gonna have to say, this holiday right here, that I'm on right now, has topped all my other holidays. Simply because Mykonos is so, beautiful guys every corner you turn it's just like it's like a storybook something out of a disney or something it's just so pretty so i'm definitely gonna have to say make right what i'm gonna do is come back to this pizza and the chicken and i'm gonna move on to some dessert now this is the, <laughs> don't know how to pronounce it. I will write it down here. It's like a calzone and there's like loads of dough and inside is the, as I mentioned, the Nutella and banana. I'm super, super excited to taste this. It is massive guys. I'm just gonna break it in half here. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, it's very chocolatey. I'm not complaining though, because I love my chocolate. I've got a sweet tooth. Okay. So the next question I got was when did I actually begin blogging? So good. I can't even describe how tasty this is. All right. Next, so the question I got was, when did I start blogging? I actually started blogging about two, two, three years ago, properly. Um, mostly now. Rather than blogging. I mostly use Instagram, um, my YouTube channel. I do blog once a month, but I would say that my mostly used channel has been Instagram lately. So the next questions I've got are more of a would you rather style. to get through them because it's actually starting to get a bit dark. So, so, the first question is, beach holiday or city holiday? 
Hmm. That's an easy question. <laughs> Beach holiday. 100%. Because I'm a sloth deep down. I am a sloth. I'm about the sloth life. I'm proud. I don't even care. I love lounging, relaxing. So being by the beach, I could even just nap on the beach and just be happy. I'm down for it. So definitely beach. The city is nice, but all that walking after a while. No. So I kind of like Mykonos though, it's got a good balance. So there's a bit of city and beach. <laughs> I'm going a bit, you know, off subway, but yeah. And the next question is long or short hair? Hmm. You know, it's tricky because, you know, I like short hair, you know, that cute, careless vibe. I kind of like the long, you know, mammy water, mermaid vibe as well. But I think, honestly, I would have to go for short hair because it's just so much easier to maintain. And, you know, you can just wake up, even if your hair's like not straightened, it can still have like a cute, curly, messy beach type of vibe. But with long hair, you can't really get away with that. Not unless you got really, 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 really nice hair, but for me personally, short hair is the way to go. Hmm. Next question. Hills or flats? Hills or flats? Hmm. You know what? I would say probably this time last year I would have said flats. But I'm going to have to say hills. Even though I prefer flats for comfort, but I've started to get used to hills. I'm gonna go for hills definitely because they just make your legs look great. They just make, they can just pull in any outfit, so. Hills, yes. And the last, final question is, hmm. So this one, it's a bit of a weird one, but, oh, it's not a weird one, sorry, I misread it. Is what is my favorite film so far? Okay, I'm gonna have to say, it was The Pursuit of Happiness, it was. But, <laughs> If you know, you know, you know. <laughs> Definitely Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Like I loved that film. The visuals were, and it was just so nice to get that kind of representation in the film industry, so yeah. But guys, it's getting dark and we've got a cat behind, which is iron up my food. <laughs> so, you know, when I'm back in the UK, I will definitely do another mukbang. If you have any more questions, then definitely feel free. <laughs> I just burped, guys. <laughs> feel free to leave a comment below or on my DMs. It's my Instagram, Sarah Diallo. And just leave a question and I will make another one because I love food. And it's a shame that you guys didn't get to see me eat all of this, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like, yeah, I've already said that, to comment and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.